now for the month of June, uh, system will display the overview itself. The system will display all the information that you need to know and understand. So I have a total of 20 employees for the month of June, and uh, I have a total of 16 lakh 78 thousand 171 rupees as a gross pay. And this is the net pay, and this is the total income tax I have deducted, total EM deducted, total ESI professional tax. So everything that you need to know uh, will be displayed under the overview section. But if you want to know everything in detail, you can go to these options that is displayed at the, in the center of the screen. Attendance and leave, wage, and wage based inputs, salary revision, variable and ad hoc, and everything else. So let us learn this one by one. The first option is attendance and leave. In attendance and leave system will display the dates or the absent dates of your employees for that particular month. By Anil Sharma, this employee is not present even for a single day in the month of June. So I'm going to keep it as 29 loss of pace. But I know this employee, Amarnath, is, is present for the entire month. But unfortunately, there are three loss of pace for him. So I'm going to reduce that. I'm, I'm going to make it as zero for, for Amarnath. And then you can also look at the leave related information. For the month of June, there is just one employee who's applied for a leave which is Anil Sharma, he's applied for a one-day sick leave on the 1st of June, which has been approved as well. If you have multiple employees applying for leave, system will display all the employees who have applied for leave for the current month. And it will also display the status. If it is approved, it will show as approved. If it is rejected, it will show as rejected. If it is still pending, it will allow you to, to take an action right now and you can approve it or reject it according to your preference. And at the same time, system will display the overtime details and the employees who have done overtime for the current month. Um, and you can accordingly choose whether this is a valid information or if you want to give a overtime uh, to that employee, you can also put the overtime pay and overtime hours for that employee. For example, I know Bowman has worked for about 20 hours. So I'm going to give him 22,000 rupees as an overtime pay. So this gets added but if your employees are logging in logging out on a daily basis uh, while they're doing their overtime this gets automatically computed in the system and automatically gets added to your payroll so on the wage based inputs we have hourly wage daily wage and job based wage so in hourly wage i have this one employee Dhruva Dikshit. he's worked one hour uh, and he has an overtime amount of 100 rupees and overtime hours he has worked two, two overtime hours for the current month. And likewise, on the daily wage, I have two employees. Uh, one is Kumar P and Mohan. Uh, Kumar has a daily wage of 700 rupees and he's worked one day. And there's no overtime uh, worked by this employee. Same goes with job-based wage as well. This displays the employees who are payrolled under job-based uh, input. And it will also display the name of the employee and the total uh, amount that is allocated for this employee per wage. Uh, allocated per job, sorry. And uh, Dhruva has, has done one job and this is the amount allocated uh, for one job. And this will be computed in his payroll. The next option is salary revision. Salary revision displays the information of the employees whose salary has been revised in the current month. Um, so this is displayed so that you can validate this detail and make changes if required. So please pay attention to this. Variable and ad hoc gives you an option to uh, you know, make changes to the variable and ad hoc components that has been added to your employees. So under variables, you can choose, uh, uh, you know, system displays the variable salary for the employees that are under the variable pay for the current month. So in this month, I just have one employee who's getting a monthly incentive of 10,000 rupees. You can make changes to that as well if required. I'm going to make this as 5,000. And you can even add multiple employees if required. And under ad hoc, if you want to add an ad hoc component or an ad hoc income, ad hoc deduction to any of your employees for the current month, you can add an employee there as well. I'm going to add an ad hoc earning for this employee. I am choosing the employee now.
and if you wish you can copy this data from the previous month as well if you have already added the ad hoc component details in the previous month you can simply copy the data from the previous month by clicking on the copy from previous month option and the next option is salary on hold uh, this option is useful when your employees abscond or if you are not sure whether or not to disperse the salary for that particular employee for the current month uh, you can hold the salary for that employee by simply adding an employee to the list. I've already added to you three of my employees under salary on hold. So if you want to add another employee, choose the employee here and change the pay action to on hold and save it. This will add that employee for salary on hold uh, list. So this employee salary will not be the list until you change this pay status to pay. And the last option is tax override. Uh, you need not use this use this option because system automatically computes income tax and professional tax. But just in case, if you wish to make changes to income tax and professional tax for any given month, you can make changes by clicking on the edit option here and make changes by adding the income tax deduction manual. Same goes with professional tax as well. System does all the computation automatically, but if you wish to this, click on the edit option and add the value that you want to deduct manually. So that's pretty much everything about adding details and validating payroll information. 